Welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2016 in Geneva, Switzerland. And I am delighted to be joined by Uma Nasir, Minister of Home Affairs in the Maldives. Mr. Nasir, so give me an update. How is the Maldives progressing towards becoming an information society? First of all, thank you very much for having me. Maldives uh, has made uh, tremendous progress in the past many years. Uh, Maldives being an island nation, uh, geographically uh, dispersed the, uh, to, uh, to 90,000 square kilometers, uh, a population of 380,000 people only. So uh, ICT and information technology is so important for the Maldives. Uh, we have, over the past many years, we have uh, created a, a business model where we have major competitors fighting each other, bringing prices down, uh, implementing infrastructure, and government is playing a minimal role as a regulator. Government is not doing the business, private sector is doing that, the government only regulates. The result has been uh, tremendous and uh, there is 200% uh, mobile penetration, 100% uh, 3G coverage, and 50% 4G coverage. So we have made good progress. It is time for the Maldives now to work on the application and content. What sort of application and content would you be focusing on? We would be focusing on uh, health and education and as well as tourism. Maldives being a very popular tourist destination, you know. So our, our next focus would be on, on application and content, especially in the area of education and health and tourism. Uh, on that work, uh, I think the, the infrastructure that we have laid down, that the private sector has laid down, has not been fully utilized. And in the next five years, the government's focus would be to encourage private sector to come in with applications and content so that uh, the education sector, tourism and uh, uh, education health sector can benefit much better. I'm very intrigued, of course, we all know the, the Maldives as really a tourist paradise. How do you see information and communication technologies expanding tourism even further in the Maldives? You know, Maldives, we have about 1,200 little, uh, little islands, you know, with sandy beaches, sun and everything. So now the government has a policy of opening up the entire country to tourism. Earlier we had some restricted islands only. So when we open up the entire country for tourism, there'll be small local guest houses, you know, and then small hotels coming up in different parts of the country. So ICT can play a major role in promoting those, uh, those uh, hotels and the, those guest houses. So government will be very interested in uh, uh, focusing uh, applications and content in that area so that the entire local population can benefit from the uh, revenue of the, of the, uh, of, of the tourism. Uma Nasir, Minister of Home Affairs in the Maldives, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you very much. And do please join us on the ITU YouTube channel where you will see videos from ministers, regulators, experts from the public and private sector here at the WISIS Forum 2016. Thank you.